Hello everyone. This might be my last video for this COVID-19 model building uh, presentation. So uh, I just want to do some eclectic stuff. You know, I did do a video showing what you do with a heat gun and look at Wonderflex and some other things. I want to look a little bit at uh, this low temperature uh, plastic and uh, Instamorph is another brand. I use friendly plastic. Kind of expensive, but what you can do is make stuff with it. Okay, and it's it it uh, melts at low temperature and let's see if I can get this to work here so here's water and you'll see it turns clear and actually what you do is you put those little pellets in and you see how it's clear oops see how it's clear and it's very moldable so this is hot water and it melts about 120 it's sort of this gelatinous material so see I can handle that right now and you can make in fact I'll just see what happens when I pull it apart from the camera Ooh. Okay, which is, so it's sort of like taffy, and I'm going to reassemble it, and you can uh, make molds out of this, you can make prototype parts, and when it's, uh, when it cools down, it's very strong, so you can, it's good for like brackets and stuff, but one thing you can do, which I have to say I've never done, is you can make molds out of it, so let me, here's another little piece of that cool down, and I've got some more in there, so let me, uh, that is really hot. I need, actually, let me do something interesting with this. Let me pull out, there's a piece in here that's hot, and it's a real good thermal insulator because it, hopefully you can see that, because it um, takes a long time to heat to the center. So this is, okay, that's not burning my hand, all right? And what I can do, I can make this into a shape, I can punch holes through it. It's like working with bubble gum, basically, and it will cool down quickly. So one thing I can do that's, you might find handy is I can make molds with it. So I can literally make an impression, super low tech, and I can get an impression, which turns out pretty good. And when this cools down, that's gonna, that, well, I'll let it cool down. Oh, well, that might be kind of a boring video. <laughs> well, while that's cooling down, I can do something else. Since it be a little eclectic here. Super eclectic. Okay, this is the annealed copper. It didn't show up so well in the video. The last one, but this is one of my favorite materials, uh, ACR copper tubing, and it's normally sealed because you don't want any oxides in there, so it's used for refrigeration. But uh, it's soft, and you can do cool things with it, like this is the Shrek pipe. Let's see if that shows up. My my prop that I'm working on, I'm not quite done with. I need to get back here. I'm not very good with this camera thing. Okay, because I'm all solo, but it's this kind of neat serpentine thing I'm making, so it's uh, for the musical Shrek. I'm kind of happy with it. It's getting heavy, though, so i got to watch it. Actors don't like heavy props. So, but anyway, the only trick, you can use a tubing cutter. You can use a hacksaw if you want. It cuts it nicely. And uh, the only trick with this is when you roll it out, you roll it flat. This will show that. It's kind of like doing the half twist on extension cord. It shows that you're a, a serious professional. And if you roll that out, it comes out flat. So when you get the coils, you buy these coils, you just roll it flat, and you get nice pieces. I use... Um, a flame, whoops, that didn't work. A flame to get some nice color effects. Um, that's a whole long story for another video, another day to retain color in copper. I'm not good with it at all, but I'd like to be someday. So, because copper under flame makes these beautiful colors, and sometimes you can save those, and sometimes you can't. So, there's that. Let's see, this is still cooling. Um, so, that's interesting. And, oh, I know, just randomly while that cools, I could do something. This is, I'm working on an acrylic painting right now. And one nice thing with acrylic, for, uh, uh, on canvas, is an, I, I enjoy painting. And um, acrylics paint, uh, dry quickly. But I'm going to do some detail work with this liquid leaf. So it's funny, all these different materials out there. You can see the metal, the gold metal in there. So it's sort of a better, I mean, there's different ways to get gold leafing effects. And this is one I'm going to use. And that's interesting. Uh, and then actually I have some random things here. <laughs> then there's painting metals on. <laughs> there's some nice paints. Crackle effects you can buy. But you have to use these with the right paint to get the crackle effect. And, you know, it's, I always think it's uh, interesting. You can see kind of what they show there. Uh, it's interesting uh, how paint technology has advanced. There's just so many neat things you can do. 
So I'm still letting that cool. I want that to turn clear. I wish I had cool water here. This is balsa foam I happen to have. Really good for carving. Really good for carving. Uh, you can carve it with your finger if you see that. Uh, you can carve it with any kind of tool. So it's very, uh, very approachable. Sandpaper, whatever, you do a lot of things. It's not very strong. Okay, oh, here's another, just a random one that is cool. This is one of my favorites. So this is baling twine for prototypers, stainless steel wire. It's cheap, you get a bunch of it, and you do all kinds of things. Um, okay, well that's, I want this to go white on us and clear. I guess, I wish I had some water. Um, I could do a video cut, but that's like cheating. Oh, I can, okay, this is like cheating too, painting silver. <laughs> Okay, so I need to, well, let me just show this, and then, oh, I could do a video cut. I guess, the problem is I'm doing this editing on YouTube, so, rats. So, um, this will go white here in just a minute, and I can reuse it, and that's my mold of the, uh, the pliers. So I'll stop it there. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. That was just some sort of random things. I don't see anything else random I can show here that is helpful. Thank you.